have a question that I have the privilege of answering. Uh, first of all, hello to my YouTube subscribers. The question is concerning a teacher student fling bling. This uh, student goes on to say that he had this hot teacher mentor in school that he had a special relationship with. He says she always helped him with his homework and other important things that he needed extra help in. And she was there for many other problems that he faced in school all year long, up until the last four weeks of school. The teacher is 28 years old and he is 18 years old. Um, he goes on to say that he is graduating next year. He said she, he fell in love with his teacher. And because they talked a lot, they text each other and it was really nice and helpful at first, like the first three months. Then in January, his grades were never as better than before and everything was great. She knew that I liked her. The last four weeks, I was really obsessed with her. The last day of school, he gave her a present, a really nice present. He said he used to tell her that she was beautiful and that she had inspired him. He said he gave her a letter on the last day of school about his feelings. And he's asking, what do, what do you think about this? She won't work there at the school next year. She's starting somewhere else. I want you all to give me your responses down below in the comment section. And I'm going to give my response now. I told this person that they should move on. Seek a relationship with someone of their own age. If the female happens to be older than him, that it should be someone that was not his teacher and that is not his teacher. Um, I also said regardless of her teaching at another school and him graduating next year, it could still lead to an investigation based on past communication with each other in the, in the school, in the previous school. Um, especially along with him giving her a gift, text messaging each other, him giving her a letter on the last day of school, expressing his feelings for her. Um, I told him that she could lose her job, her license, and her reputation. Now, my feelings on this whole teacher-student fling-type mess that's been going on for years now where these teachers are getting busted, messing around with their students. And it's, it's, it's like, to me, they, they don't know how to solve the problem. Well, I thought about a way that could possibly solve that problem. I just never have voiced it. But my opinion on a way to, to deter a lot of this from happening is, say, for instance, this, this student and teacher here. She's 28 and he's 18. I think that the problem in a lot of these schools where these children and teachers are messing around with each other is because the, the teachers are too young. I'm not saying that there should be no teachers that age. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that a teacher that age should maybe be in an elementary class, not a junior high, high school, or college class as a teacher. I think that they should start out, depending on their age, they should start out kindergarten, elementary, and so forth, grow with the students. Instead of putting a teacher that age in a class with a junior high student or a high school student because you are more, I can't say this word, susceptible to having feelings for that person because they're, they're kind of close to your age. 
I think that could could possibly help. Say, for instance, this 20-year-old starts teaching in elementary. As the students get older in that grade, they can move along to the different grade eras in school. Say, for instance, from elementary to then they move on to junior high, then they move on to elementary. It's too many young teachers in these high school classrooms. I believe that is a problem. Y'all tell me what y'all think down below.